Hello, good afternoon, and happy Friday. I am Lisa Holly, and I am the very proud owner of Berea Moving and Storage Company and Woodley International Art Handler. Since COVID decided to ruin our fun, and we cannot have lunch with Lisa until I feel comfortable and other people feel comfortable, we have decided, Candace and Brian and I, to start on the third Friday of every month to do something called Wine with Lisa. And what I'm doing is people who have already attended Lunch with Lisa before, they've seen my building, they know a little bit about my story, but this is a recap, if you will, of, of you know, who I am. And I will be very happy to inform everyone here that Starting October 1st of this year, uh, Candace, Brian, and I are going to be starting our campaign for 60 years in business. We are a family-owned business. We are a woman-owned business. We have done literally everything, in my opinion, that has to do with moving. We have four divisions. Um, we are a commercial mover. Within that realm, we move restaurant equipment, we move medical equipment, we do office moving, we work for lots and lots of schools. We do hotel work, like hotel renovations or brand new hotels, where we'll bring everything that they have for the hotel into storage and then deliver it out once it's available. The other division that we have is residential moving through Berea Moving. We move household goods um, within you know, a 20 mile radius. We move household goods within the state of Ohio, within the United States, and we are also a global moving and storage company. We cannot necessarily haul it all the way to Hong Kong, but we can make all the arrangements and crate building and you know, whatever that it, it might happen to need and then the division that we were just all talking about is our art division. That was born on March 10th, 2011. My brother and I decided that we couldn't just be under the name of Berea Moving because people did not understand that we were an art mover, that we were an art storage facility, that we were an art crater. It didn't register with people. So to honor my parents, uh, we named our company Woodley. And Woodley is the name of a 1967 Christ Craft boat, and it was my parents' boat. So we decided to name the company after the boat. The uh, last uh, division of the company is military. We have been very fortunate for 60 years to move military people around the world. We also, besides moving military around the world, whenever a blue bark shipment, which is a deceased military member, comes to, let's say, Cleveland, we have the honor and privilege of delivering the belongings of the military member to the family. Though it's a difficult thing to do, I am extremely proud of the ability to do it. Um, I feel it's my small part of the world you know, to, to honor the, the service that they, they gave to our country. So it's, it's a great place. I mean, we, we've got 15 employees. Uh, we, we fluctuate between 15 and 20. It's something I absolutely love to do more than anything there is. There's not a single solitary day that goes by that isn't different. And I think that's my favorite part. It's very challenging, sometimes pretty stressful, but I like change. I like changing people's lives. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. And usually at lunch with Lisa, I can go to the right and say, and Lila's on my right. So I'm just gonna pick you, Lila, you're next. Okay. Uh, say, I am an artist, as you know, but I'm also the executive director at Art House Inc. I became the director there a little over four years ago. Uh, it is a, uh, Art centered community nonprofit. We do a lot of arts and education in the schools and after schools. Those programs will be five to 16 weeks long. 
we employ or contract with uh, professional artists who conduct the programs. They develop the curriculum. We are in very close contact with the teachers and the principals and the artists as well um, to, uh, to deliver these programs. Um, the staff and I will uh, create kind of an overarching umbrella theme through which different artists can enter in many different directions. We also do other kinds of outreach programming, workshops in our studio, um, lectures, free lectures, uh, events called things like uh, the Artist Inventory Challenge. It's been, of course, very different because uh, everything shut down mid-March. And we started uh, posting online video lessons that artists were creating. We're working on doing some virtual programming this summer, uh, virtual dialogues with artists that we work with, um, and uh, some online exhibitions. We don't know what's going to happen quite in the fall, but we're moving forward to continue to provide those programs that are so critical to the Cleveland children and youth. Um, so that's been very challenging, and I can uh, repeat what you said, Lisa, is that it's different every day. I mean, there's some things that are the same, but um, there's, there's always a new challenge. And Jeff, um, I was wondering if you could be next and uh, tell us about yourself, what you do, um, where you're heading, what would, what would be good for you? How can we in the room help you to, you know, uh, change your life up a little bit? Oh, so, so Jeff, I'm gonna, throw, I'm gonna throw one curveball quickly. With your permission, can I share my screen and just kind of show your website as you're talking? Are you sure. cool with that? Yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do that in a second and obviously you okay. can take it from here. All right. Um, okay, Lise, uh, well, I lived in Cleveland, you know. Born. Jeff, can you tell Lila your name? Because I don't think she knows who you are. I know, oh. it's Jeff Butler. Um, Oh, you do? I'm okay. sorry, you can, you can see the name on the bottom of the screen when you click okay. on it. Oh, I'm such a dork. <laughs> sorry about that. And can you guys, can you guys see my screen now? Yep. Yes. Okay. We got it. Okay, that's cool, Brian. That's a great idea. Um, Lisa, I've, uh, I was born in Cleveland uh, since, you know, I mean, 1951, basically. Uh, and I guess, uh, after high school, I went to art school, and it's um, been that way ever since. Uh, but mainly 45, 48 years in the commercial art field as a uh, art director, illustrator, designer, production manager, you know, hat after hat that you wear. Um, so yeah, from art studios to ad agencies, to PR firms, to marketing firms, uh, it's uh, just kind of always been there and um, whether or not, you know, you want to call it your passion, but I've always had a love for uh, seeing what you can produce uh, for yourself as well as for other people. Uh, and that's always been the, the challenge that's kept me going. You know, that next project, that next creative uh, part of you that wants to convey to not just yourself, but to the world and people you work with, um, what you're about and how you think and how you interact and uh, basically the process of it all. You know, when, when you were describing some of what you, you had done, uh, Lisa, I have a great respect for, you know, business owners like yourself that I, I was only, you know, a participant for one day in your world and really had gotten an appreciation for what you go through. Uh, basically, you know, running in place from phone call to phone call, meeting to phone call and vice versa and all, seeing all these ants scattering about to, to keep this business <laughs> afloat and active. And it, it was just uh, phenomenal. It was a great experience. Keep to the to the left. We always go to the left. Um, Candice, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're doing, and maybe where you're going, and what's a good referral for you, and uh, maybe even show our. I was just going to say, and show our board. Uh, That's Brian. 
I got uh, it. It's all good. Uh, I'm Candice. I work for Lisa. Um, I'm just doing various different marketing tasks and stuff for her with Brian and stuff like that. Um, if you look at the writing on the website and all of our different posts and stuff like that, I've written all of those things. Um, I have a background, well, I have my master's degree in art history. Um, I hope to work in a museum one day. I mean, that's sort of the goal or gallery or something like that. Um, going for curating sort of things. I think that's sort of what interests me the most, though I'm kind of open to other things as well. Um, I know in the future, um, we may be getting some projects with Woodley where we catalog a collection and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to working on those projects. And uh, I think that's it. Candace, would be a good um, referral for you, Candace. I don't yes. know. <laughs> You're all lovely. <laughs> Obviously, museums are extremely important to us. Collections managers are important to us. Uh, curators are important to us. Private collectors are important to us. And, uh, you know, it, it keeps us growing on the Woodley side, you know, versus the brand moving side. It's cool, Lisa. That's a great description. You know what? It makes me think you, you don't seem like the typical kind of, uh, not that I've seen every company, how they operate, but you don't seem like the typical kind of company that kind of keeps things so tight to the cuff. You don't let, you know, the public or a certain segment of people in involved, you know, to get involved, but you seem to do that. Could be wrong about that, but no, I like I enjoy what we do so much, you know, and and uh, you know, you produce art, I get to touch art. That's a blessing. That's mm -hmm. um, you know, a dream come true. Anyways, um, so as we keep talking, um, we may leave that whiteboard popped up there, but I'd like to um, move over to Tara. Tara is. Um, becoming such a lovely good friend of mine we met each other at spaces gallery and we were at an artist's presentation and then somehow got invited to dinner at like midnight and um we have been chatting and, and talking ever since so uh tara if you could explain to everyone what you do and and uh, a little bit of your background tell a little bit about your mom that would be okay. really cool Hi everyone, um, my name is Tara Petrus. Um, I'm the uh, public art coordinator for the city of Cleveland. Um, and basically um, my background has been in municipal government um, project management. And um, this position was newly created almost three years ago and I've been in that position since. Um, and so basically what I do is I pretty much touch any public art project that comes to the city. Um, so helping people navigate the approval system so that their public art goes up legally um, and design reviews. Uh, we have a public art program, which I oversee, and that is our percent for art program so that certain capital projects will generate one and a half percent towards a public art component. So if it's murals or sculptures, um, privately funded, publicly funded, um, anything of public art nature in the city is, if it's done, correctly, it's gone across my desk. Um, I really enjoy working with artists. I don't have an art background prior to this um, position um, as far as education, um, but I grew up in the art community. My mother's an artist. She's been an artist um, her entire adult life. She went to Cooper School of Art. Um, she's amazing. I'm not just saying that because she's- No, mom, she's amazing. She's <laughs> Lisa's seen her work. She's been in her gallery, but I just grew up in the art community, so I was always in galleries, always at art exhibits, um, very involved with things my mom did, and she gave, she helped me develop at a very young age a very strong eye for art. So um, I enjoy just being around creatives. Um, I'm not quite as creative, or I should say I'm creative in other ways. My, I have um, photography. I'm amateur photographer. That's a bit of a hobby, so that's probably my art expression form, but um, like I said, I grew up 
um, in those communities. And even um, before being in that position, when I travel, I go to galleries, I look for public art, I take pictures of it. I usually try to buy a piece of art when I travel, when I come home. So it's just, it's deeply ingrained in who I am. Um, well, then that would, that would mean, Mr. Bryan, you're kind of next. I'm next or the last, last and least, however you want to put it. No. Well, okay, so <clears throat> for those that don't know me, I'm Brian Bukowski, and my company is Bomb Image. Um, the, the beautiful thing here is that um, we're kind of talking about who we are and what we're doing and where we want to go and who could help us. Um, I'm sure I, I've been told, and again, I'm not doing this from any ego sense, but I've been told that I've sold myself short, but I feel my role is to help people to expand their talents and try and show that to the world. That's, that's the role that I'm playing right now. Um, I do have a BFA. I don't really participate in a whole lot of fine art myself right now. I would like to. Um, all the conversations that I have with even Lisa or Candace, but especially with Jeff, um, really lead me to the point where I would like to do that. And um, as I, I talked earlier in our conversation, if I could ever get to the point where I could feel a little um, sustainable, I think I would try to move forward with some of that. And um, I'm the kind of person that's uh, super conservative in that point, and that's a hard point to get to for me. But I would like to express myself a little bit. For, for now, I express myself through others and try and help them. So um, my company's Bomb Image. I like to say that I help people to demystify branding and marketing, design, whatever that happens to be. Um, but the biggest question that I get a lot of times is, well, what exactly do you do for clients? So it would be easy to say that I create logos. I help them identify what their brand message or that visual identity might look like. Um, I help them with brochures, websites, uh, social media, et cetera. Um, but truly as an outsourced, uh, I, I like to say marketing partner, um, the reality is that I try to offer clarity, confidence, and comfortability. And that kind of does go back to a little bit of what we talked about previously. Um, but I try to help people because you know, establishing a, a, you know, a cohesive brand message and uh, a visual identity is a difficult process. Um, understanding who your target audience is and, and how to get, to get that out there to them can be difficult, it can be frustrating, and a lot of times it can be a scary proposition. Um, you know, some of the conversations I've had with Lisa, is it's, it's, it's daunting. Um, but the idea that I think that I can help with is when, you know, business owners, again, primarily, I would say I, I try to help professional service organizations. Um, when they have that lack of resource or expertise to get their goals achieved, to get these projects done, whatever they're trying to do to get their message out, um, I help bridge that gap. Um, I like to think of my clients as my partners. Um, hopefully, anybody that's on this call that is can feel that way. Um, I want to be a trusted advisor and really a team member. I want to be part of the team uh, for as large or as small as that needs to be um, to help them feel, again, comfortable. Um, and again, whether it's working through myself and I can self-perform a lot of things. I'm a one-man show as far as bomb image goes. But I have you know, a, a team of experts that I work with across the board to, to help create these projects and get things done in specific areas. Like if it's SEO, I can help on a, on a certain aspect of it, but when we want to get knee deep or if we want to do a pay-per-click campaign or things like that, I'll bring experts to the table and I can either you know, run those projects and make it easy for whoever my client might be, or I can actually connect those people and make, you know, make the vendor and uh, client relationship work and I can step away. I'm not after every last dollar on that. Um, but the whole idea is to, again, make it simple. Um, I, I feel like I connect dots to find paths of least resistance. Um, so that's kind of where, where I'm at with it. Um, hopefully that explains a little bit. And I'd love to take some questions afterward. Um, my biggest thing is I always like to say that my passion is helping people, you know, get inspired to create their bomb image. That's kind of part of the name thing. Um, but when I look at it today, what, what somebody can help me with is, is somebody that, um, again, maybe in the professional services world that, uh, or, or an artist per se, that is struggling. Um, they don't know where to go, what the next thing is. They, they have that product, that service, that piece of art or that style that they want to bring to the world and they're not quite sure how to do that. 
I'd love to sit there and help them with it. And whether it's something that I could do myself or kind of pass them along to somebody else or put the right pieces in a place, I want to help. Um, but um, I love this. I, I can't, I'm like, all, I'm going to be like teary eyed and everything, but I just, I love this so much. I'm so glad that social media and, and technology and all this other stuff, if you will, is here now because I would be so lost without my friends and without talking to people and, you know, having wine or, or lunch with Lisa or what have you. I think that's my calling. I don't know if moving dinosaurs is necessarily my calling, but connecting people <laughs> and sharing with people. And, you know, like I said, I've been called the connector. So I have to say one thing. I don't know if it's just the people on this call right now, but I don't know if this would have been the same in person or not, but man, this was incredible. Energy, energy, lots oh, of energy. I absolutely love it, even compared to the stuff in person. This was awesome. Yeah. Thank well, you everyone thank for being you. here. So good night and cheers, my friends, to a very safe, let us all stay safe and healthy. And I'll check cheers. you all out in about, I don't know, I'll check on you in a month. Everyone have a Absolutely. good weekend. Stay safe. Yes, you yeah. too. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Awesome Thank you. Great, great to Bye. see everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.